All right, guys, let's see the yard. It's been about two weeks since we tilled. Um, it has gotten like a week and a half of rain since then. I was super worried about soil runoff because of the angle of the yard, but it has been really impressive. So let's look at what the soil is doing, what I still need to get done, a project that I want to talk to you guys about slash a change in plans, which is why I have some materials in the yard right now. <clears throat> so we can discuss that. So let's get to it. All right. So, so far you can see the line is right where it's supposed to be. I have not leveled the dirt like I wanted to before the rain. And even with that being the case, we did not have any puddles. We did not have really any soil runoff that I can tell. I'm sure nutrients ran off, unfortunately. Um, I still need to go through and hand weed a lot and rake a lot. I've not raked either of the yards. I started and then it started raining for a week and a half. So um, it is honestly not bad. After that much rain, I'm very happy with it. That gives me confidence that when it is time for plants to be in the ground, it will do just as well and they will not be in puddles, which is always a good thing. So I will take a slanted yard with no puddles, then a perfect yard that is not slanted and is flat and gets all kind of buildup and puddleage. So <clears throat> I don't think that's a word, but there you go. So that's the update on what the soil is looking like. Now let's talk about the garden plan. Notice I have pallets in the yard. The pallets are there because I wanted to talk to you guys about the plan. So if you remember all of the other videos, I mentioned a lot that we were going to be building a pallet fence, which obviously required a permit. It actually requires two permits. I'm going to make a video about everything I learned from that process, even though it's maybe not the most helpful. Maybe it'll help you a little bit along the way. But ultimately, we collected a bunch of pallets and then decided that the pallet fence can only be three feet high, which we knew. Um, and we were going to use bird netting over the whole thing, which we ordered. Um, and then I realized that is not going to keep squirrels or birds out. And so with that being said, that became a higher priority. And I did some transitioning and some calculations. And ultimately, for $50 more than we were going to spend anyway, we can cover the whole all of the sides with wire instead of building a pallet fence and we were going to cover all the sides with bird netting anyway after building the pallet fence so same thing but wire instead and then the top will still be bird netting and ultimately it's just gonna be a lot less work than building a fence it's going to be um only 50 dollars more and it's gonna be a lot sturdier for keeping birds and squirrels out so very excited about that plan um, basically either side of the front yard is going to be 18 feet wide. If I put my flowers inside the fence, it'll be 19 feet wide and squirrels don't like marigolds and I'm not actually burying the wire. So I'm hoping they don't dig if I plant my marigolds right there. Um, but it'll be 18 to 19 feet wide and 29 to 30 feet long. <clears throat> and it'll be six foot tall with wire. I found a six foot roll that is I don't remember how many feet maybe a hundred feet one inch wire which is more expensive but better for keeping squirrels out the two inch wire a squirrel can get in so <clears throat> I got to pay more to do the one inch I will link the wire that we're going to be using we're also going to be using rebar it's a lot cheaper than t-post so we're going to go to Home Depot I believe I will find a link for that as well they're like 480 for a 10 foot post and I need like 70 something of them. But if they raise their price, then I'm not buying those and I'm gonna have to find something else. So hopefully they keep it there until I get them purchased. I need to rent a truck so I can pick those up because the um, length of them, they're 10 foot long, 10 foot tall, sorry. Um, and I can't fit those in my little sedan, so that's not gonna happen. But on top of that, so it's six foot tall. That'll be the height of the surrounding garden walls which will just be the wire. Um, so that gives us six foot tall walls. However, the initial plan when it was just bird netting for the walls was going to be eight foot tall with the rebar. So plan is to take the bird netting over the top to protect from squirrels and such, <clears throat> bring it about three feet down on either side because that's the width anyway with how it lines up with our garden. And that'll put it to where we get an extra two feet of height on either side. So we'll have an eight foot, eight foot high bird net ceiling in the galvanized wire 
chicken cage of a garden. Um, and I'm really, really excited, honestly. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. It's not quite what I envisioned, and caging it all in seems strange, but keeping it protected from squirrels is going to be super important. I had a squirrel just the other day climb right on the rail of my deck, right next to where one of my dogs was. He was inside, obviously, and just sat there and stared at the dog while the dog was really loudly barking and trying to get it. It had no, it was not phased at all. It was like, you can't get me, haha. -ha. <laughs> so I know that the squirrels are gonna mess with my garden and I'm not having that happen. So with that, we are also using rebar on either, on all four corners of my top deck. And that'll allow us to cover that with bird, wire, uh, bird netting as well. I wish we could use wire, but we can't afford that. <clears throat> so we'll cover that with bird netting and hopefully that'll help keep the squirrels out. So lots of good, good things. And I'm so excited to not have to build a pallet fence. I think that'll save a lot of work. I also think I'm gonna take that little tiny pallet that's on top. We have a ton more in the garage, but this is just for an example. But I think I'm gonna take the little tiny one on top and maybe see if my red solo cups like fit perfectly in it. And if they do, then I can use that when I'm hardening off outside, set it out in the yard and that way they don't blow over. Or I can even um, put little like Velcro or command strips or something there, so. Yeah, that's the update guys. I'm super excited. Hopefully this weekend we will get the deck covered, the soil bags and, or we already have the bags, but we need to get the soil delivered and filled into the bags so we can plant all of my very, very sprouted potatoes. They're super sprouted. Um, and then the weekend after that, hopefully I will be ready to start on the fence so that one weekend after that, we can then finally plant in the ground. That I actually might put us behind. I wanted to plant by like, March 24th or 26th, we better get a move on. Um, but part of why we're slightly behind is because I took all day Sunday and instead of um, working on the garden like I was supposed to, we were gonna organize the garage and get it ready for all the gardening, create some spaces and stuff. Instead, I spent like six hours doing spark joy on my closet and decluttering and getting rid of four bags of stuff, so. Definitely not the initial plan, but still felt good. And the garage would be the next step in that declutter process. So anyway, they, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, guys, you can tell it's the end of the day. It is not morning. Normally I record in the morning. Right now it is almost 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So it's about the end of the work day for me. Um, thank you all for joining. It's a beautiful day here. It finally warmed up. It was 21 degrees this morning Fahrenheit which is negative 6 degrees Celsius it is now about 45 degrees Fahrenheit maybe even 50 I would think that that is probably uh, ooh. I don't know that's tricky I don't know what that is in Celsius I'm sorry I, I'm gonna get better at this I promise I'm trying to learn but it's it's hard. You have to take away 32 and then divide it by 0.55 or multiply it by 0.55 to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius. I cannot do that off the top of my head. So yeah, nope. Sorry. I just can't, but it's nice today with long sleeves and long pants. Um, in a little bit of breeze being in the sunshine, it's not cold. It's just like perfectly chilly with warmth. Um, this morning was freezing. So Thank you all for joining me on this beautiful day and I bless you all. Have a good one.